Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to install and set up WordPress Alchemy on your WordPress site. So first off, if you followed the link from uh, my website, you're going to come to this page here uh, on GitHub to download the latest version. Uh, you want to make sure that you are on the uh, master branch and when you click download it'll say master branch up here as well so you want to click the download zip button and that will download the latest version uh, for you. Now I want to show you also the network uh, tab in GitHub and that will show you the different branches that are available. Um, typically you're going to be looking at the master and the dev branch. At times the dev branch will actually be ahead of the master because there will be new features in dev that aren't necessarily uh, stable uh, or more or less tested. But if you're, um, if you're wild enough you can definitely uh, give those a try and uh, you know, give me your feedback. So once you've downloaded the latest uh, copy of WordPress Alchemy and you've extracted it, your the contents is going to look a little something like this. Um, everything that you're going to add to your WordPress installation should go in your WP content folder. So when I open that up, there's going to be the WordPress Alchemy folder, and what I'm going to do. On the left here I have my sample WordPress installation and on the right here are the files that I've just downloaded. So I'm going to go on the left here and I'm going to go into my WP content folder. I'm going to copy the WordPress Alchemy folder into that folder. And then I'm going to go into my themes folder here on the left and also here on the right. So my theme essentially represents whatever theme you're using. In this case I'm using the 2011 theme so I'm going to go inside that. And I'm going to go inside this as well on the right side. So first off I'm going to copy over my Metaboxes folder into my, uh, into my theme. And there it is. And now what you're not going to do is basically copy over your functions uh, PHP file because that'll overwrite your existing functions PHP file. But what you're going to do is you're going to open that up and essentially this is what it looks like. It has several different includes and it's it makes it really easy to set up WordPress Alchemy. So what I'm going to have you do what I'm going to have you do is uh, you're going to copy this content into your existing functions uh, PHP file. So let's open that up first. So here it is right here. I'm going to double click it and it opens it up. Now just a side note, um, if you're using 2011 or 2010 these themes get updated with WordPress so you're, you probably want to set up a child theme so that any changes you make to your functions PHP file don't get overwritten or any changes you make to the theme don't get overwritten. You can kind of um, uh, override uh, certain things about the theme in your child theme and still allow the theme to get updated. So that's just a side note. So you can see that because we're using the 2011 theme directly there's a bunch of stuff in the functions PHP file. What I'm going to do is just add our content at the very bottom of this file as an example to, to get you set up. So here's the content uh, of the file that you just downloaded and I'm going to just copy all of this and I'm going to go into our existing functions uh, PHP file and I'm going to just paste it. So to begin with um, I'm going to comment out these four uh, meta boxes and I'll show you the structure of how uh, I set up my meta boxes, and I think uh, you should as well. It's a it's a best practice I want to um, instill in everyone who downloads uh, WordPress Alchemy. So there's two files: a setup file and your spec file is what I call uh, a spec file, basically. And let's take a look at what those actually look like. 
So I'm going to go into my MetaBoxes folder. I'm going to open up my uh, setup file. And then I'm also going to open up my um, simple spec file. Now the setup file is essentially set up for WordPress Alchemy. It basically includes the MetaBox uh, class and it sets up um, and queues a uh, style uh, so that the meta boxes look a little nicer and that's basically it that's all it does and then the spec file actually creates uh, sets up the definition for the meta box uh, that you're going to be uh, using so it you know creates an ID puts a title to it and ultimately also includes the meta file which is the spec files little brother now let's open that up and all the meta file is it's basically the contents of your meta box all the form fields uh, repeating fields that you have in your meta box so here's the simple a simple meta box uh, its meta file here's the spec definition and the setup file uh, that's included. So all of this stuff is included with your download so you can get this set up easily and then build on top of this. So as you can see in my functions PHP file I just have setup and I have my simple spec. There's a bunch of other examples full uh, checkbox examples, radio box examples, select box examples, etc. So after I've got that all set up I'm going to go back into a Again, it's a basic uh, default installation of the 2011 theme. I'm in my um, admin panel here. I'm in the posts page, and I'm going to click the uh, the default Hello World post. I'm going to click Edit. And because I have that all set up, my meta box appears. It's there already. My custom meta is here. Um, all that meta box had was a title and description. I'm going to add a test title. And I'm going to add a test description. And I'm going to click update. And that's it. My, I've got my meta box set up. Um, I've entered my title, entered my description. And if I go out back into the post page and I click back in, you'll see all that content is still there. So to finish off the video, I'll show you a quick example of actually bringing in this data into your um, into your theme file. So once I've set this data and I've got this meta box all set up, I want to be able to display this content in my theme. So the way you want to do that, and the simple example is this. So I'm going to go into my 2011 theme, and here are all your theme files. So you can add it pretty much anywhere, um, but you're probably going to add it somewhere where you're displaying a post because the uh, meta content is associated with the post. So I'm going to go into my single PHP file and I'm just going to add the content uh, just at the very top just as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and code this real quick. Um, oftentimes it's useful to add the global variable um, if you're using a theme framework, um, they may be going through um, showing uh, theme content through a function which is outside of the global scope and you're defining the um, meta box in the global scope. So it's better just to, it's easier just to always remember this. I'm going to say global simple meta box. And the reason why I say simple meta box is if you go back to your spec file, this is what I'm defining the, the meta box as. So I'm saying simple meta box equals WP Alchemy uh, meta box, and I'm defining this variable uh, as the meta box. So I want to be able to call this back up. Um, in this example, I'm have, I have two variables defined, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, so I'm going to use this variable, simple meta box, and I'm going to call it, make sure that I have access to it. So I'm going to say global simple meta box and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say simple the meta and all that's gonna do is grab me um, the latest uh, the latest meta box content and you can assign this to a variable or you don't have to uh, in this case I will I'll just say um, I'll just say meta equals simple meta and it's going to grab it because you're in the loop it already knows um, what post you're looking for and whatnot but 
Um, here's a hint. If you wanted to uh, do two, po two loops or you're working outside of the loop, you can actually specify an ID right here. Something like this. So if you wanted to pull meta box content for a single post somewhere else, you can basically say dot meta 15 and you get that meta, bo uh, that meta box content or the metadata for that post. But in this case, we're in the loop. We don't need to do that. So I've defined my global. I've defined um, I'm getting back the meta content. And all I'm going to do is just do a simple print R so you can actually see the data. But you would ultimately use this in a more useful um, fashion, putting it into HTML elements and, and so forth. So this is it. I'm pulling the content out and I'm just going to do a quick print. So if I go back to my, um, let's see here, if I go back to the uh, theme and I click into my Hello World post, you'll see that I'm, ec I'm echoing out this content right here at the very top. Obviously it's not pretty um, and essentially you'd go back and you'd make it prettier um, adding the metadata where you need to add it but as you can see my test title and my test description are being echoed out for my hello world post uh, as you saw earlier that I added so essentially um, installing WordPress Alchemy is pretty straightforward you just download the files you set it up uh, place the folders where they need to go and you uh, copy and paste the definitions, uh, the setup and the spec files in your functions PHP file. And as a bonus you saw how I added that content into my theme files.